Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another pack based video for you guys. Last week I did a review on the uh, 82 plus and the 80 plus player picks. We looked at those repeatable packs um, during the end of team of the season for Ultimate Tots. And I want to do kind of a similar video this week with the new upgrades that we got today. Now I know a lot of people aren't very excited about these upgrades. I myself wasn't very excited right away just because they're UCL cards. And a lot of those UCL rare cards and non-rares, that's just been a whole mystery to me this year anyway. They were never available in packs. Their only tradable supply came from SBCs. And they have ra like random SBCs when they get supply on the market. Now, uh, yeah, it's been crazy with these UCL cards. Um, but this SBC kind of seems like why you know that's what that's that was my question when they dropped this SBC today when they dropped the 81 plus the premium upgrade and the UCL upgrade I just kind of thought why you know why do we want UCL cards well basically what they want you to do is to do this SBC to put those coins into this UCL premium upgrade SBC and I want to kind of try this out because upon further examination these UCL premium upgrades could be kind of decent now they are a bit expensive but there's a ton of upside in these SBCs. But of course, there's always a lot of downside as well. And that's where EA kind of gets you on these SBCs. So the first thing I want to look at, I want to take a look at how much these SBCs cost. Currently, according to Footbin, um, the UCL premium upgrade, um, which we'll talk about here in a second, that contains a player from Man of the Match, Champions League, Road to the Final, or Team of the Tournament, which is Team of the Knockout Stage or Team of the Group Stage. That costs you from scratch around 140, 150,000 coins. That's kind of a lot, all right? That's kind of a lot of coins. Ignore this 81 plus UCL upgrade. That one's literally, it, it's pointless to, to do that SBC once you see what we're gonna talk about here. This UCL upgrade SBC, all right? Costs you about eight to 10K, all right? X, Xbox, it says 10K right now. I just did one for about seven or eight K. You can bid on cards especially get them for a lot cheaper. I don't think there's a ton of people that are doing these SBCs right now just because they're a little bit overpriced and this is more of a riskier move to kind of craft and to get cards for your club. It's not, the only thing why I don't want to call it crafting is you're not really getting cards that you will then turn into SBCs unless you get some higher rated ones. And that's why I'm kind of, this is kind of a cautionary video, but I do think this could work. So I want to kind of explain it today, talk about these upgrades. And that's what we have to do because we're stuck with them for six days. I'm probably not going to do a lot of them. I didn't do many of the ones to watch upgrades, but I do want to try a couple of these and I think they are kind of grindable. Um, as we saw over here on Footbin, it costs you about 150K to do this UCL premium upgrade SBC. And it costs you, let's say eight to 10K, somewhere in that range to do the UCL upgrade. Now from the UCL upgrade, you get two UEFA Champions League players one of them rare, okay? So from this SBC right here, you get two players. Now, obviously you're not guaranteed a higher rating. And in these UCL premium upgrade SBCs, that's where we're looking to put those players. You need an 81 overall squad for this one. You need seven Champions League common or rare players. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all those players that we get from the UCL upgrades into this. So you need seven and seven, so you need a total of around 14 of those players, which if you do if you do seven of those UCL upgrade packs, these upgrades, you'll get 14 of those players. Now, obviously you're not guaranteed to get the rating, so you might have to do a few more. So I'm actually gonna test this with you guys right now. I have eight of these UCL upgrades locked and loaded and ready to go. And I wanna see if we can um, end up being able to complete one of those UCL premium upgrades. I did all these packs right here. I spent some coins on like the last two, but the rest I did in my club and I did eight of them. So at the most, this cost me about 80,000 coins to build from scratch, okay? So this, I just put 75K, let's say, into these eight SBCs. I'm gonna start ripping the packs and see what we get from them. Obviously it's a UCL upgrade, so we're only gonna be getting the UCL rare and non-rare cards. Um, one guaranteed rare from these packs. So we get, first one is Netherlands central midfielder, uh, Let's go. That's, that's an 83 rated. So that's that's huge for our squad that we need to be 81 rated. That's big time for that squad. Now, as you saw, an 81 rated as well. That is big time. As we saw over here on Footbin, right? 
I'm not going to open the next pack yet. I'll wait. This this UCL premium upgrade, you need two 81 rated SBCs. Now, even if we don't get every single player 81 plus like we did in that first pack, both those guys were over 81 rated. Even from these upgrades, if we don't get somebody who's an 81 plus, that's okay because we can go out and buy 82s and 83s on the market for a pretty cheap price. We get another 82 or 83. Another 83 from this SBC going Calo Guedes. So we're doing really well right now in terms of rating for value in these SBCs, which is huge. Hendrix as well, that'll link nice to our uh, the young that we just pulled. So I'm gonna rip through these packs and I spent about 75K on these. Um, I didn't build them all from scratch, but if you would have built them all from scratch, 75,000 coins. And I really wanna see if this is worth it. What's this one gonna be? Yo, who is this? Sule, 85 rated? Yo, what is going on? That's th two 83s and an 85 rated. I smell a little bit of good value coming from these. I don't know if the pack lock is juiced from these. I don't know what's going on. Another Ajax player as well. We're going to have to keep opening these up. 85 rated Sule is not a bad pull when we're trying to get an 81 rated squad. That's the whole goal from these upgrades is to be able to upgrade into that bigger SBC. Oh my gosh. Haishaj, the Napoli right back. I don't know how to say his name. 82 rated though, you know, we'll take it. That's over 81. So far, it's looking like we're going to be able to complete both of these squads. Even though we've had some 79s in there, we should be okay, I think. Um, but I do want to try this out. That's why I'm doing this with you guys. I want to try out and see, are these packs actually working? Worth it. And once we get to these first uh, eight packs right here, we'll get on to the rest of this. Another Ajax player. The Licked, are you serious? 84 rated, man. The links and everything is coming together for this... Uh, for this pack opening so far. That's the only problem. When we start to get duplicates like this, that's kind of the issue. And we're gonna have to quick sell that card because I already have one in the club on tradable. But I built eight packs, so we should be getting, we'll have 15 if we don't get any more duplicates. Since we have two players per pack, I did eight packs, just quick sold one duplicate. We'll have 15 of these blue cards going, is Kimpembe? No way, you're kidding me, bro. Kimpembe 84 rated. So these UCL upgrades, I hopefully the luck is not in right now, but these are looking very very good for doing these SBCs right now I'm gonna be honest. This is looking very very good We'll open these last two and then go get to crafting a UCL premium upgrade Because honestly this didn't take too long, you know Is that Carrillo? That's not Carrillo, is it? Far fine the 80 rated right mid from locomotive. I was wrong. I was wrong 80 rated and an 82 rated non rare boom Let's go. So, so far from the eight of these packs, it looks like we're going to have enough players to do that SBC. And obviously, when you're doing these packs, you have the chance to get a walkout and a very high rated player. Sule was our highest, I believe. Danny Rose, Luke Shaw, Ashley Young. I stand corrected on my third guess. So that's 81 rated as well. So I'm going to go into this premium SBC. I'm going to show you guys what I had to submit for each SBC so that you know it was A, worth it for me, or B, not worth it at all. But I'm going to go craft this SBC. I won't take you guys with me. I'll cut the video off here. Um, and then I'll be right back when I finish this to show you what I'm going to put into these squads and um, what players I had to put into it to complete the rating. Because you only need seven of these rare uh, Champions League players or seven Champions League cards. And the rest you will use um, just regular gold. So I'll be right back and we'll talk about it. The next step. So I'm about to submit the first of the two SBCs for the uh, UCL premium. As you can see here, I used a lot of my lower rated players. I just used the ones that were from similar leagues. And I went out and I had to buy these 82s. It was very easy to get that 81 rated. I bought all these cards for 900 to 1000 coins. So that was, I spent 4K on those cards. So we can add that to our pack total. So it's 79,000 coins if you count all the upgrade SBCs. And this first one, and we get a, uh, what kind of pack do we get for that? We get a rare two gold players pack. Nothing too spectacular, but you, I might as well open that right now just to see if we do get anything from that. And that is a nice thing about this. Instead of just requiring a 11. Oh, do we get a Fanta card here? Let's go. Who's this going to be? Uh, it's from the uh, the Swiss League. Siri DA. All right, we'll take it though, you know? That is an 81 rated card. Man of the match, we're gonna send him to the club. Mendy will help with those SBCs. Boom, that's uh, discards for 14K, even though he's untradeable. So I'm gonna go into the second leg of this SBC. I'll fill it out, show you guys, tell you how much we spent, and then we'll go in and open up the rest of our packs. And of course, get the um, 
the premium SBC completed. Let's go. All right, so with our awesome pulls from the, the higher rated cards we got with Delict, De Young, Sule, and Kempembe, we easily um, completed this SBC, and I just, honestly, I used players from the club. And look at that, we have a ton of chemistry. We're actually at an 82 rating, and I just threw in basically uh, non-rare cards from my bench. Now, I don't have any use for that Sule or the Kempembe, or I would keep them, but I just want to keep them in this SBC to show you guys what I'm getting out of this. Even if you replace those guys with 82s and 81s, uh, still I think this would be worth it. So we no added coins to this um, SBC right here. So we've completed the UCL Premium Upgrade SBC um, for around 79,000 coins with the 75k we spent on the upgrades, the UCL upgrades, and then the 4k that we had to go spend to buy those four gold cards to finish out the first squad. And again, that part's going to be just kind of um, based on your pack luck and what happens when you do some of the upgrade SBCs. Now, I'm going to open this two-players pack, and then I want to go and check out um, what we can actually get from this SBC, because there's a ton, actually, that we can get from this SBC, and I don't think people actually realize that. There's a ton of stuff that you can get from this SBC right here, this UCL Premium Player. There's a lot of options in here. There's a lot of lower-level guys, but there's also a lot of higher-level guys. So I want you guys to take a look at this. And realize what all you can get from this SBC. You can get any of these players that are right here that you see. You can get that uh, team of the group stage, 99 rated Messi. Team the knockout stage, excuse me. Or team the tournament, whatever you call it. The Ronaldo, um, probably the Neymar. Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure which uh, Messi would pop out for you. I'm, I'm sure that one of the, there's multiple Messis in here. The team of the group stage, team of the tournament, and he has a man of the match. Um, but there's a ton of high rated cards and you look at all these high rated cards 90s 89s 80, 88s I mean at the least you're getting a awesome solid super sub um, or Maybe you're getting a high rated card that is SBC fodder like let's say you don't want to use um, This ZH 90 rated right mid card because you have the uh, Lozano, you know I'm just basically what I'm saying here is there's a lot of options from this SBC and that can be good or it can be bad. Now, actually, let me sort this one more way to kind of show this to you guys. But we're gonna we're gonna sort by Xbox price. So we spent about eighty thousand coins on this SBC in total. How many players do we have under eighty k? The cutoff is like right here. Matt's humble seventy eight thousand coins. All right. It says one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay, so we have ten players in here that are under. We can't count Henderson. He's obviously was an SBC. Ten players under. Um, 100 or 80,000 coins and there's a lot of them probably another 15 or 20 of them that are over that range and this is only the team of the tournament cards um, I'm not looking at man of the matches at the moment or um, or the UCL lives there's a lot of higher rated UCL lives as well so let's see what we get in this pack and basically what we get in this pack is gonna determine how the video goes for us honestly it is a walkout which I would expect to see Come on, EA. Is this, uh, what are we getting here? It's a road to the final card. It is Brazilian. Le Tellez? Felipe Luis. All right, so we just got an 88 rated Felipe Luis. Let me look him up. Let's look how much his price is right now. How much is Felipe Luis right now on the, on the market? I'm guessing like 40 or 50K, yeah? Maybe 30K? He's 40, okay, so he's like 30, 30,000 coins, 35K. So that would be one of those cards that technically, you know, he probably doesn't make it worth it. So from all of our packs that we got back, we got that man of the match that we discard for around 14,000 coins. We got this card that sells for about 35. So, you know, we're somewhere around like almost 50K range is what we got in value back. But I'm not gonna repeat this on a large scale. I'm probably gonna try it a few more times for myself. I don't want to give you guys like a green light, like the saying, yes, every single time you do this, it's going to be worth it. But if you're somebody who has a lot of coins and you just want to try upgrade packs, this might be something that you can try out and you can do, you know, especially depending on how your luck goes in those UCL upgrades. For that Sule card, if I was working on an Icon SBC, if I keep pulling 83s and 84s out of that, I might try go doing an Icon SBC with some of those players instead of putting them into the UCL premium upgrade. If you're trying to chip away at an icon stuff like that um but i think this qcl premium upgrade is promising i know in times before it's been very very bad and i have not done this sbc too many times 
Um, but maybe give this a shot for yourself. Maybe you do this once, you spend 70 or 80K, and you get one of those big cards. Maybe you get a, you, you hit a, a, a Van Dyke road to the final card, or a Ronaldo or a Messi team of the, of the knockout stage, team of the group stage. You have that opportunity in there, and that's why it's so interesting to me. Um, it's not the most cost efficient though, I will say. So if we're giving it like we're looking at a green light or a red light, I'm probably gonna give it a yellow light because I can see how this SBC could be very profitable, but then also you could pack Pulisic Road to the final or Edin Dzeko team at the group stage, and it would not be very worth it at all in that right. So, you know, I'm gonna give it maybe like a six out of 10 if you wanna go out on an out of 10 rating for this SBC, but there's really not too much to do right now except for weekly objectives in terms of what they come out with for SBCs. So maybe try, maybe try it, you know, give it a shot. It's at least something that we have to do right now on the game. And if you can't be asked, I totally understand. I'm probably not going to do a lot of these myself, but it is something that we can, we can kind of do and can kind of craft and at least give a try, you know, um, since it is kind of the end of the game. And uh, there's a lot of cards that are available from this SBC. There's a lot of upside, I guess you could say. Um, so again, give one a try, see how it goes for you. If it goes really well, maybe you want to try it again. If it doesn't, maybe you still want to try it again. Um, and maybe you just do it once like I did right there and just call it quits there. It does take a little bit of time. That's the major downside because you have to complete seven or eight of those upgrade SBCs and then finally go do the final one. Uh, so it probably took me 20 minutes in total uh, to complete all of those SBCs. Um, but hopefully this helps make your decision easier if you were thinking, are these packs worth it? Um, hopefully this kind of helps you figure it out. There's a lot of upside. But always, we know in FIFA Ultimate Team, the upside isn't always guaranteed. <laughs> There's a lot of downside as well. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe with notifications on to the channel if you are new. And to not miss any future uploads. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.